Coming up on 21 minutes after 11, I'm Nick Harcourt, your host. It's Morning Becomes Eclectic here at 89.9 KCRW. Back in April of this year, Fran Healy, who's a friend of our program and has been here a number of times with Travis, was talking to me and telling me about this band called the Arctic Monkeys. And he sent me to a website, which I don't think he was supposed to send me to, where I was able to download a couple of demos that we played at the time. And I'm happy to say that the Arctic Monkeys now have a single out. And they join us live in studio this morning for their first time in L.A. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming in. I want to talk about uh, the music, obviously, and some of the recordings and the touring as well. But the best place to start, I think, is to throw it over you guys for a live set. It's Arctic Monkeys on Morning Becomes Eclectic. <laughs> She won't be surprised And she won't be shocked When she's first the star And then she's first unlocked And the first of chapter Sat in her in box And all that he says Is that you dread a lot And you should bear that in mind tonight Yeah, you should bear that in mind tonight Bear that and you can pour your heart out For a reason it will block Oh, you send her after nine o'clock You came. So what you scared for? Well, 
Pretty little swine Hoping they're looking for you I'm sure you'll be rummaging through And I said this is some horror I'm just going to tune in. <laughs> Sound. Fake Tales of San Francisco. I don't want to hear ya, I don't want to hear ya Fate tells of San Francisco echoing through the air And there's a few more faces in the black hole wishing they weren't there And as the microphone squeaks and yet the telephone beeps Yeah, she's dashing for the exit or she's running to the streets outside Are you saying me? She screams down the line The band are very good and I'm not having a nice time I don't want to hear you Kick me out, kick me out I don't want to hear you, no Kick me out, kick yeah, me out Yeah, but his bird said it's amazing, no So all that's left is the proof that love's not only blind but deaf This is, uh, you probably couldn't see for the lights, but you were staring straight at me. <coughs>
the jokes and that To make you smile Those that claim that they're not showing up Are drowning in denial But they're not half as bad as me Say anything and I'll agree Cause when it comes to acting up I'm sure I can write the book And now that you're more than a part In the play It's slightly easier to think What to say <laughs> this morning becomes eclectic here at 89.9 KCRW. Our uh, guests in studio are uh, Arctic Monkeys. And a uh, big welcome again to Alex Turner, Jamie Cook, Matt Helders, and Andy Nicholson. Uh, are you guys a little tired this morning? I mean, you sounded great to me. but We're all right, actually. Right? Um, we're still on the Eastern time. So You're on East Coast like time? A, yeah. Okay. So when we woke up at half eight, really, it was like... 11 or whatever. And, how, and uh, what was it back home? Four well, or something? I don't know. Yeah. About you can't think about it because if you do, it's, it's, yeah. it's all over. Well, you welcome. have to go, right? It's 7 o'clock, fine. Fair enough. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Well, well, welcome to the station and obviously to, to the States for the, these, uh, these first gigs. I know you did some in New York last, uh, well, a couple of days ago, I guess, and came to L.A. Uh, but let's, let's go back a little bit and, and maybe check in with uh, the history of the band. I told you at the beginning uh, when we met a little earlier this morning how I first heard of uh, some of your music through... Um, through Fran uh, of Travis back back earlier on this year, so that's April. But the band's been together what three years? Is that right? Yeah. Tell, uh, tell us a little bit about um, the beginnings of, of of the Arctic Monkeys. Who came first? Um, the 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 name came first before any of the band members or anything like that. And it were always it were always going to be called Arctic Monkeys for whatever reason. Um, but we started playing instruments in about 2002. In the summer of 2002 is when Matt got his drum kit. Um, and we started rehearsing like the four of us, and none of us had like, played before or anything. So how, how long have you guys known each other? Um, I don't know, years long. Like, we all met kind of at school and okay. stuff, or like primary school. Or right. Like um, but yeah, so we'd all known each other, and then we just, I don't know, for whatever reason, decided to have a crack at this band lock. I was going to say, I mean, you know, obviously you're listening to music, I'm, I'm guessing, and something must have triggered you uh, to, to say, yeah. well, why don't we have a bash at this? What was it? Can I you remember? Know, we were listening to all sorts, like we were all individually listening to kind of quite different things. I mean, I think Jamie kind of introduced us free to a lot more like band bands sort of at the time. And at this time, like kind of the strokes and stuff were just coming out like, over in England. And so we probably all like on MTV and stuff we'd be seeing that sort of thing and on radio or whatever we'd be so that probably kind of rubbed off on us so we might have a bash at playing a couple of their songs or whatever is that what you started doing by yeah, just doing a couple of other yeah, people's songs or, or whatever yeah but we were never really very good because we couldn't play yet because we were only just learning so us four in the room like every week or whatever playing anything were kind of an achievement so like we you know we'd just try and do whatever we could like whether it be Whatever, could we we'd like learn how to do like the open fifth sort of thing. So we were all like, like you know, do like fast funky sort of stuff, <laughs> or whatever. But so it, so it was the first songs that we wrote were awful. It was it was really about sort of being in the room, learning how to play the instruments, I guess, yeah, more than anything. Pretty much to start with. I mean, we played rehearsed for like a year before we even did a show or anything. So. Was it one of those things where you where you felt you had to go and play a show to sort of move things on? I know sometimes bands are, when they're starting off, they, they they book a show and that gives them the impetus to actually get out and yeah. do it. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I remember that particular show. We like, rehearsed. Like, we were on first or something. We only had to play for like twenty minutes, but we like we must have rehearsed like every day of the week <laughs> leading up to it. Like, but, but it was so like crucial. That we, did Did you have any of your own songs by then? Were you already writing your own songs yeah, by then? We had a we had a couple, but they've all died a death. I don't. Yeah, but yeah, they, they, we had we had a couple like that. We just thrown together. Tell tell us a little bit about uh, your your hometown of, of Sheffield. It's uh, it's it's uh, well, it's provided some great musicians over the years, but it's 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 probably not as well known, obviously, as a, as a lot of other places uh, in in the UK. Like you know, I mean, Manchester, obviously, and and uh, and, and London. Um, d tell us about Sheffield. What kind of place is that? I mean, I've been there, but probably a lot of people listening to this program haven't been there. Yeah, no. Um, well, I like it. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of. 
it's difficult to like when people like we've had a lot of that kind of that question like doing interviews and stuff over here and like people are like what, what's Sheffield like I don't know I don't ever really know what to tell them I mean I think like the band scene there now is healthier than it has been at least in my lifetime sort of thing um, like and Las I, Vegas. It's like what? It's like Las Vegas. <laughs> it's exactly like Las Vegas, only yeah. without everything that Las Vegas has. Yeah. But <laughs> and it, it, but we got yeah, there's like bands there now. Like um, I don't think there's anywhere else in the UK at the moment that's like as strong as Sheffield. Like, um, is is there is there a big community of musicians? I mean, young bands who are sort of uh, helping each other out, or is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, you know, we're friends with a lot of kind of we were friends with a lot of the bands that people know now like before people knew them if you know what i mean like there's there's loads of people um like a band called milburn bromhead's jacket harrison's um there's loads like loads of stuff at the moment that like and i don't think if you kind of pick another place like on the map that it's as strong anywhere else like well, well, tell us a little bit about the last year or so, because obviously things have happened really uh, remarkably quickly, and I, and I was actually reading a, a little bit of biographical information where it says that you guys yourselves, you know, know that you know this is kind of a, a crazy time because the the buzz that that started on the band, I, I guess, a year or so ago, led to you know a lot of stuff very quickly. I mean, do you feel like you're in the middle of something that you know is 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 a little crazy right now? Yeah, uh, sometimes I don't know, like just like between us four or whatever it, it's just like it's always been I like would still talk to it, you know kind of talk amongst ourselves the same it doesn't seem kind of quite as crazy as I imagine one would expect it to from the outside on the inside if you know what I mean but um but yeah you can you can certainly tell like when things are you know <laughs> it's got a bit weird like I don't know um David Bowie walked backstage the other night in New York and none of us have ever been like David Bowie fans at all but seen him enough times on telly and stuff oh, I bet you know that he's like a you know, sort of I bet your parents icon. are yeah right. I mean, oh, yeah, <laughs> well impressed like, but, um, was your family over for that gig uh, some of our family yeah. were like Matt's and Andy's families were like, right I think she he, he, David Boy was stood with like Andy's mum and that and I think she yeah she was going nuts <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so so the single uh, uh, came out over in um, in England what a couple of weeks ago something like that uh, yeah and uh, did. and and uh, just did hugely hugely well. You've been touring, obviously, and, and recording. So I'm presuming there's an album that's coming next year. Is that right? Uh, no, we're not going to bother. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It, we've yeah, got, we're done. That's it. it thanks. Comes, it, um, yeah, January. I think the, it comes February sometime over here. But um, but yeah, it's it's done now. We've just finished recording it and mixing and yeah. So it's just like. It's, the, it's nearly there sort of thing, like finalising artwork and stuff like that. And then, and then what about the touring? I know you've just done a, a European thing. You've got yep. these four dates in the States and then off to Japan. Are you, are yeah, you, are Japan you enjoying it? Week. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's been a, having a great time, as, as you might imagine. But, it, no, it's, yeah, it's fun. It's just it's good, like, you wake up every day in, like, a new place that like, you, you didn't know before sort of thing. So, yeah, very exciting. And then Japan next week, which I think we're all looking forward to. Tonight, KCRW presents Arctic Monkeys at Spaceland. It's a sold-out show, but we've got some tickets that we're going to give away at the end of the program. So if you're a subscriber, stick around for that, your opportunity to win tickets to go see them. We're going to throw it back to you guys for another set of music. we got about, uh, I know you got like, I think, three songs ready. we got about 17 minutes left. So I'm going to throw it to you, and you, you figure out how you want to deal with that 17 minutes. If you, okay. if, if you finish early, then uh, uh, maybe you can throw another one in, but I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Okay. Could do a bit of role play for 10 minutes, and then we could... <laughs> you can talk about Sheffield. It's okay. Right, so so we'll have a try at free then. All right. Um, sound. Thanks very much. Um, let's do vampires now and then then Ritz and then yeah. Okay. Sound. Right. <coughs> Your advice or your praise Ought to move in the ways you do 
And I never will Cause all you people are vampires And all your stories are stale And though you pretend to stand by it I know you're certain we'll fail well, I've seen your eyes as they fix on me Full of confusion Your scar is just so condescending Try to explain that we're on to a win If the fee we get in Nearly lose what we're spending He said I can't believe that you drove all that way Well how much did they pay ya? How much did they pay ya? You'd have been better to stay round our way Thinking about things but not actually Actually doing the thing Cause all you people are vampires And all your stories are stale And though you pretend to stand by us I know you're certain we'll fail Cause all you people are vampires And all your stories are stale And though you pretend to stand by us I know you're certain we'll fail Last night there's two bouncers and one of them's alright The other one's a scary and his way or no way Totalitarian, he's got no time for you Looking or breathing now he don't want you to So step out the queue, he makes examples of you And there's no you can say Behind the go through to the bit where you play And you realise then that it's finally the time To walk back past 10,000 eyes in a line And you can swap jumpers and make another move It's still in your brain you've got to me to prove To honest making faces and the boys in black Why can't Pleasant. Why can't he have a laugh? He's got his hand in his chest. He wants to give you a duff. But secretly, I think they want it all to kick off. They want outside everywhere and balls as well. It's just something to talk about. A story to tell you. Yeah. Today, to this town, a different town to what it was last night. You come to the night on a Sunday. And that girl's a different girl today. So that girl's a different girl to what you kissed last night. You come to the night on a Sunday. Of course not. Last night, what we talked about, it made so 
a bow, it made so much sense But now the haze has ascended, it don't make no sense anymore Just the one more. Set set in romance. Probably could. Set 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 in romance. Same way. No, not in the same way. Listen, 
nuts in the same way Oh no, oh no, no Now, you know that's not true, right? You just thought that would sound cool at the end of the song, which it did. did yesterday, the arms folded and that. Yeah. He's had enough, we best pack it in. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, guys. Cheers, man. Uh, my pleasure. Uh, our guest this morning is Studio Arctic Monkeys. Very quickly before we let you go, what's what's coming up next? Are you going to come back to the States and do a bigger tour? Do you know what the plans are? Uh, I think March is when they say that we're... The, the, the bring the hoisting us back over here for some all right but yeah but yeah looking forward to it though. Uh, arctic monkeys our guest on morning becomes eclectic uh, having a having a bash at this band lark and i think <laughs> it's going all right i think <laughs> yeah. thanks thanks guys thank you, thank you.